Jose here. Um, sorry, it's been a while since I've posted uh, any videos lately. It was a really busy week last week, but now I'm back to my regular schedule, so I'm going to be able to post videos much more often than before. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you guys a really cool application that I just recently found. In fact, I just recently found it last night, so I'm still kind of learning about it, but um, it's really cool. What it is, it's called Fluid. It's right here. You can get it at fluidapp.com. Okay, it's a free download. And it basically um, creates site-specific browser browsers for your web applications. So say you use Gmail or I use Dig a lot. I use um, FriendFeed, all of those. Um, instead of opening them in a whole bunch of Safari windows, I can easily just have an icon such as this, either in my dock down here or up in my menu bar. I'm gonna actually show you how to put them in your menu bar today. Um, and that's what I think is really cool because all I have to do is click on the menu bar and it'll bring down, um, it'll pop open whatever that link is. So I think it'll become a little clearer once I show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and open Fluid. Okay, and it's going to say create a site specific browser. So I'm going to create a, a browser for dig because I like dig. Let's see, let me do it right. And I'm going to call it dig. I'm going to keep it in my applications and I'm going to use the web website fave icon, which basically uses the dig icon as my icon for the application. So success. Um, I created an application. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Okay, so this is my application. Okay, um, uh, I'm not logged in right now. You can log, you can log in, and you can see all of your um, information uh, stuff. But here's the cool part. Okay, if you go up to Dig, the Dig menu, and you go convert and convert to Menu Extra SSB, um, click OK, and see that it turns into its own browser. Okay, so you can you can scroll and, and frame it however you want, but basically all you have to do is click up here, it appears, click, it disappears. Pretty cool, huh? So um, I'll show you one more application. So I'm going to go into applications again. I'm going to go to my fluid application. I'm going to click open. Okay, there's fluid. Okay, I'm gonna do friend feed now. And then I'm gonna call it friend feed. Okay, I'm gonna keep all of the location and the icon the same. I'm gonna click create. And success, launch now. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch it. So I have my friend feed up here. Now, the cool thing about this, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to convert it to Menu Extra SSB. Okay, and I'm going to say, yes, I really want to. And there we go. You got friend feed up there. And so now I can always see my real time, my friend feed. Okay, or dig. Okay, and if for some reason they should reload, but if for some reason they don't reload, you can just do, um, you could just do Command R and it'll reload it just like you would do with a Safari window. Okay. So, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. I love it. I have Twitter up here, I have my MySpace up here, I have, I have my ping.fm, uh, I have a whole bunch of, um, of my frequently accessed websites on here. Um, and it's great, uh, I've, it's come in handy so far. I'm going to probably continue to use it a lot. So, I really like it. I will have some more uh, videos for you later this week. See you later.